Hi everybody and Happy New Year, it's the 1st of January and we are on update 2 of the Batmobile. Um, today what I'm going to be concentrating on is the afterburner. Um, I've done a little afterburner backplate <coughs> which will hold 9 LEDs so it's going to be seriously bright. So we'll head over to the bench and we'll take a look. So this is the massive wire that I'm going to have to be using but this is the backplate here. So in the centre we'll have an uh, orange flicker and the rest of these around the circumference will be yellow flicker. So we've got all our LEDs, resistors ready, shrink tube, we've got coffee, good to go. So yeah, just a case of cracking on now. Um, so we'll be right back as soon as they're all wired up and hopefully we'll see what it actually looks like on the afterburner. So catch you in a bit. Okay, so the afterburner now is all set up inside it's really super super bright is this I'll put some fiber fill on the inside so it looks more like fire coming out but the reflections looking good and <clears throat> it's operating at the moment at 9 volts I don't know whether it will come out or well it should come out but we've got the ribs all lit as well but what I'm gonna have to do is build like a little box basically inside just to all that light is pushed out here because at the moment we've got light spills everywhere so all the exhausts are lit in as well but all that that's going to be red LED and then we've got orange flickering ones which they won't be a problem because I can light block that from the inside and we also yeah so you can just see the LEDs inside so I'm just going to have to box that off basically but the afterburner looks amazing looks really super hot inside there <laughs> got light leaks everywhere but this thing hasn't been fastened up yet so <clears throat> not bad to say that it's taken me about bloody what, six hours <laughs> to get this far I'm just gonna go off now and try and build little boxes just to hide keep all that light from coming in and put some reflective material on the inside so it all gets bounced out after it's painted I'll probably just go in with some canopy glue just to do the little slits there um, depending on what this is like once it's sealed up fully I don't know what I can do about the light leaks but to be honest it's a nice cast that it's making on the wheel so it might be a happy accident that um, but yeah we're looking good uh, yeah if we just pull this off I don't know whether it'll come off actually no I won't bother um, yeah I'll go off build me boxes and then we'll see what it looks like then so we'll be right back so I've got the boxes all built up and it's just got a metallic silver inside just to help reflect I might actually put another strip tape on the upper side as well yeah but uh, I can't show you yet because I've just had to do some more painting that I forgot to do either side uh, we've light blocked the back end of the afterburner so all that light's going to be pushed forward now that there won't be any leaks inside and if we head over to the bench yeah I've just basically been making a load of uh, LEDs up at the moment there's uh, tons laying around still got to do six red for the uh, louvers on the hood so they're going to be getting soldered soon and then if we head over to here I've built some backing plates for the tail lights uh, so they've just been uh, cut out and I've sprayed some more metallic silver on just to reflect light so they'll be getting installed into the main car soon um, which will be just in these little sections here so yeah it's moving along quick I'm just hoping my paints get here soon so we'll be right back so I've got the uh, the ribbon bullets now in gloss black that's ready for the metalizer and we've also started doing our mini guns. I'm sorry if that doesn't come out in camera. I'll try this one over here. But uh, yeah, they're all in gloss black. They're good to go. Um, the wheels are down here. They've been coated in Tamiya rubber black. So they've been matte coated. So we're just letting that dry and set up. And I'll set the camera up on the table and we'll take a look at the uh, exhaust uh, lighting, which is pretty cool. So we'll be right back. So we've got all the uh, LEDs flickering away now. So we've got about, I think it's 12, is it? Two, four, 
six. Yeah, about yeah, twelve LEDs. So they're all going to be in the exhausts. Uh, the the only thing that I'm really waiting for now is the metalizers. Uh, if I zoom you out just a minute, um, I tried a little experiment. These are going to be my lenses for the uh, headlights. Um, what I actually did with this, I took some steer, uh, clear styrene and uh, took a sweet wrapper so it acts like a gel. So that's pretty cool and I've done the same with tail lights as well they've got like a sweet wrapper on so it'll be going that way so that should glow really nicely and of course I've got all the uh, engine inserts as well for the little louvers which are all backed in that paper stuff as well um, I'm not too concerned about all the scuff marks on the back side because uh, it's basically going to get a coating of like canopy glue over the top so it'll look clear and it'll also help glue it in as well I can actually use super glue on that stuff so it's not so bad it's, and even if it fogs it doesn't really matter because it's going to have a light blasting through it anyway um, but yeah that's pretty much as far as I've got now it is just literally waiting around for paints to arrive which I'm hoping won't be too long um, I need to go to the store as well because uh, my uh, tulip there has run out and I need to do some more light blocking so yeah I'll probably just leave this update running because um, as soon as the paints come we can crack on with that uh, I did have one mishap with the uh, the tail lights themselves I went on and uh, wired up the LEDs and I've had to use magnet wire so I had to start again and redo it all because uh, the clearance for the back wheel is really up against the plastic so this type of wire here it, even though it's better quality than magnet wire it just wouldn't fit uh, so I've had to go with magnet wire just because of the size of it basically so it will fit nicely in there and the, it won't interfere with the wheel the wheel will probably end up getting glued anyway um, but yeah, in fact I'll just go get that now and then. <clears throat> so yeah, we use the, the Tamiya ma uh, rubber black. So that's all good. We've masked off the centre hub because I want that still gloss black for all the Tamiya, uh, the uh, metalizer. But yeah, we're looking pretty good. Um, I'm just going to let that set up overnight. And then we'll uh, once we get the body on and stuff, we can start weathering the wheels up and what have you. I'm not sure on the base yet, um, I don't know whether it will be a road or whether or not I'll just have rubble everywhere, but uh, yeah all that good stuff. So we'll be right back as soon as uh, I can actually start painting which will be good, so I'll catch you in a bit. So after further examination of the car <laughs> I found out there was a little divot here where there's a screw that uh, holds uh, the glass in so I've had to do some filler work and on the sides as well so I'm going to wet sand this in a bit hopefully get that sorted out because like I said before this plastic is dreadful to work with uh, the mini guns have all been uh, gloss blacked and I've also made some little ammo boxes as well so they're going to be instead of like drilling a hole into this material I'll just have an ammo box put there on this side as well and all that good stuff uh, still working on the lighting it just needs all hooking up basically now um, <clears throat> so hopefully soon we'll be uh, getting ready for paint uh, I'm also installing in this corner over here because I've cleaned all this out now I'm gonna have like a little uh, wood burning stove here just to heat it up in here because obviously now it's absolutely freezing so and I've been brutal and I've chucked loads of stuff out as well which has got nothing to do with the Batmobile anyway, but there you go. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to have to clean all the dust off this as well, because I'm going to have to reapply some uh, black gloss to this. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back soon. Hi guys, and welcome back. So we're getting a bit further. Um, <clears throat> if you've seen pictures on uh, Facebook and MeWe and Instagram and all that good stuff, I've just been working on uh, the bullet chain now. Uh, and then Randall Scott came out with a, an excellent idea of every fourth bullet 
do like a red tip on the case uh, on the, on the bullet itself so it's a trace around which I quite like I don't know how much of this will actually show um, but yeah we've got the uh, little mini gun all done these are all done in owl clads as well so we've got a mixture of uh, steel uh, polished aluminium uh, stainless steel for the actual uh, motor that drives in the, the bullets uh, <clears throat> and then I used um, the Alclad um, gun metal which is like uh, a purple kind of dye which you paint over the steel so it gives it a nice sheen in certain light don't know whether it's actually coming out on this camera or not I do need to get a better camera <laughs> but at the moment we're working on the wheels um, so we've got these masked off now I'm going to be doing uh, polished aluminium on the inside and a little bat symbol I'm going to use some clear red just uh, in, in there and then I think I'll probably mask off this centre hub and the outside I might do in titanium gold um, it should look really really nice um, if we go over to the Batmobile it's had another coat of gloss black there's still a bit of filler work if it's coming out just on the uh, leading edge but maybe I mean if I get some paint on that it might not look so bad I don't know but we're looking good everything's sorted we've got the other bullet rounds here so I'm gonna be just going off now doing some airbrushing on this and then we'll come back and uh, see what it looks like so catch you in a bit so I've just finished off the wheels now we've got a bit of a bleed through there on the tape I've just glossed this now so I'm not going to be touching it for a while but um, what I actually did with this was um, use polished aluminium first of all um, and then in certain lights I used uh, titanium gold for the rims didn't really like the colour that much so I dusted it over with some more polished aluminium and I've just glossed it now but they're actually looking pretty cool uh, I like how they are uh, once they actually get weathered and that it'll look better like um, I'm going to take some Tamiya clear red just for these centre hubs here so we'll get the bat symbol going on there uh, but yeah it's uh, it's coming on pretty pretty good I'm going to clean the airbrush out again and then once this clear coat has dried I'll have to mask this off and then respray the rubber rubber black just on the tyres there and we're pretty much good to go with the wheels and I think that'll be pretty much it for them um, but yeah they're looking very very nice uh, nice reflections going on inside the wheel as well so yeah so if we get any light cast from the blue LED strips it should look pretty nice actually because I'm not going to be a light block Obviously once that half comes on there's no way of getting inside there to tulip or anything like that. But I'm not so bothered about it. I think it'll, it'll look pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I think uh, we'll let that dry and we'll be right back. So, I started masking this guy off for paint. And basically, I don't know if you can actually see it or not. Can't really tell it. Oh yeah, yeah. Just the... We're getting loads of bloody paint peel up on this, which is a bit of a nightmare. So I think what I'm going to have to do is spray it, polished aluminium first, clear coat it, fingers crossed. When I come to masking it off again, hopefully the paint will stick, <laughs> stay down. What I should have done really is use adhesion promoter first, then primed it, and then painted it. But hey ho, never mind. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully it's not going to be a disaster. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed, it'll work out. So we'll be right back as soon as I've got this polished aluminium down. So I've got more work done on the mini guns. I've just added some uh, a pin wash of uh, black just so the barrel stick out more and then if we go over here we've got the Batmobile now in um, polished aluminium uh, where it was actually flaking up it's a bit weird but I uh, put a clear coat on and it seems to have actually shrunk it back down and it's it's 
nice and flush again which is strange but I'm going to leave this now until tomorrow before I even attempt to put masking tape down on it I want that to be set up really well uh, took Randall's advice so we've got trace arounds now in the rest of it if it will actually focus properly so they're looking pretty good <clears throat> I put another gloss coat on them got the wheels they're looking really nice at the moment um, and we also need to start work on these guys I'm gonna get that the afterburner painted up tomorrow because that's still in its gloss black so that'll get done uh, and all that good stuff we've got the ammo boxes as well which are over here they're gonna get a coat of steel I think uh, but yeah we're looking we're looking good so I'll catch you tomorrow guys when we start masking this off and fingers crossed we won't get any uh, paint lifting on it and hopefully we can start actually adding a bit of detail paint into it so we'll catch you then so after doing the paint job I'm not that over enthusiastic about it it's not really looking that great when I did this I did this in a uh, Alclad jet exhaust but I'm thinking about just going back to black <laughs> Uh, I've got a Ford colour here which I'm probably going to be using Panther Black and it's a, a pearl metallic colour and then we'll just matte coat it afterwards but yeah I'm not I'm not digging the colour as, as it is uh, I've masked it off so I'm hoping when I come to take these masks off that there will be no peel up because that's it's going to be a bad day if that happens um, so yeah I'm going to go off paint this black and we'll be right back okay we are looking much better now the silver really pops we've got the silver and the gold accents at the moment and it's really popping uh, we've got our silver vents here it's difficult to see all this I know because it's gloss black at the moment but it will be matte um, but yeah if we get a close up and you yeah it's a nice metallic pearl so it should look even better once I've matte coated it but uh, <clears throat> yeah very happy uh, it takes 25 hours for this paint to really harden so I'm not doing any more work on this today uh, but I'll be picking up little areas like this top platform here we'll probably do that maybe in a steel colour as well and maybe do something with these vents and with it being black I can do like a silver dry brush over it just to like weather it up as well it should look a lot better I might pick out this little section here and paint that maybe silver as well but try not to go too heavy with it because I'm liking the balance that it has now <clears throat> and then vents are gonna look really nice when the the red LED is shining through it um, in fact I'll set up because I don't think I've actually shown you the uh, exhaust lighting on this so we'll be right back so here we go <clears throat> We've got all the flickering ones, we've got all the uh, vent red LEDs in there, they haven't been put into position yet. We've got some headlights here, which will be going around the front. And then if we look through there, you can just make out the eyes. So all that's going to be nicely lit. And then around this section here. But I'm really looking forward to hooking up, well, putting the body together and then seeing all them bl uh, all that blue light casting out on the silver I think that should look pretty cool so on the whole yes I'm liking the project again now I was, <clears throat> it was getting a bit dodgy where I thought well I'm gonna have to strip all the paint off this use some adhesion promoter on it and just start again but touch wood it's uh, it's going okay um, I'll show you the wheels next so we've got some nice colour going on there um, I glossed this yesterday so I am think I'm going to go in and weather up the hubcaps and also do the bat signal in red uh, same for the, the little one here I also need to mask off and reapply the, uh, the rubber black as well just there but yeah that's looking pretty good uh, we've got the afterburner down there got our guns over there and we've got the bullets with tracer rounds 
all glossed up and ready to go. As soon as that paint's dried on the body, we can go ahead and uh, put the uh, the tail lights in. But uh, yeah, looking really, really good. Um, so yeah, catch you in a bit. So guys, while the body's drying, I thought I'd go ahead and put the uh, red clear for the bat symbols. Um, I don't know how well <coughs> it'll come out on camera, but we'll have a go. I'm just trying to be careful with this paint here, because that's still wet. But all I'm going to do basically is just dip it in here and let's have a go. Yeah, it's going to take a while, like, but it's going to look good, I think. Just being very, very careful not to get it somewhere I don't want it. And there we go. Just take off the tripod a second. Zoom me out a bit. So there. It's looking good. I like that. But it's going to take a while for that to dry. So I'm going to go off now. <coughs> and I'll do the other one. And we'll be right back as soon as uh, we've got that done. So catch you in a bit guys. So I think that's a wrap for this one. Um, I'm just going to let the paint set up overnight. Probably start filming again tomorrow. Um, <coughs> add all the different metallics that I want to but I think less is more because at the moment it really pops against the black and um, yeah I'm gonna finish off the wheels so yeah uh, we'll catch you in the next update when hopefully we'll be actually putting this thing together and then you better see all the lighting working together so uh, catch me then see you later